What is your deal? I think I can see something moving in there. I think I'm going to be down there, oh yeah, in a minute. So I'm just supposed to realize that I can open that hatch, and then it'll fall. Oh, this will be fun. Like always. What did I hear? I'm getting freaked out a little bit. There's there's human activity happening in my real life house. Oh god. Right now. Just I can hear it through the walls every now and then. But I can also hear stuff in the game. And so I can't really tell which one's which, so I keep thinking I'm hearing something scurry. The paranoia that this game already has is only added to by the constant threat that somebody else is gonna There we go. All right. This room's co completely filled with worrying explosives. And there's my hatch. Um. Huh. <laughs> Don't fall. I think I'm gonna want to grab you again, take you back upstairs. And we'll try to get you far away, because I think I'm about to explode everything down there. This! Like, I can't get past those mines, right? I can't disarm them, because they're, they're all the way over there, nowhere near the door. And it's, I don't think I can get past those lasers. If I had full human mobility in real life, I could probably crawl under or between them. It'd be- I wouldn't want to take that risk. It's fucking scary, but... Probably possible. In VR, less so. Uh... Am I just gonna die instantly? Uh, apparently not. Not if I miss. Good. All right. Yep. I think that uh, that one piece of resin was basically our hint on how to solve the room. They do that sometimes. This game does it, Zelda does that. Like, rewards don't just exist as secrets. Sometimes you use them to help guide the player to realize that there's something they can do because they want to get the reward. And then they realize, oh, that over there. This game does it on a regular basis where they put like a, a chain link fence somewhere and then you and you're like how do i get it behind that chain link fence and the reason you're wondering that is because if it was just some random chain link fence you'd be like oh it's a chain link fence those, those are everywhere it's a town but if there's something behind it you're like mm, we must go there later or something right somehow everything in this part of the room is uh, is undisturbed what was that sound is that you is that a sound you made Kind of like night vision was turning on or something. Ah. Hello? No, it's dick bag. Okay. Well, I've got a grenade on here. Got that going for me, I guess. You alive in there? Fuck you. Fuck you. Every time- My hand startled me. Because <laughs> I wasn't trying to hold this. 
So, so like, when it went, I was like, Hah. I wasn't trying to do that. Hear why grenades exist as a concept. Just to fuck over that exact enemy. Ooh, his head squished. Doing okay here. Yep. I just put it away, but it was already away. I'm very smart. Come here, Vincent. Duh. Are you moody today? Oh. That one just lower in front of me? God, I need to. That always reminds What's the deal with the crowbar? Oh, you mean Gordon Freeman's crowbar? Yeah. Oh, Alex. He fought his way out of Black Mesa with nothing but that crowbar. That's not no true. Way. It's true. Well, it's true that that's what they say. You know, nobody knows for sure. What? Well, when I get him out, let's give him a gun. Yes. Uh, not mine. I'm out of the gun lending business. Okay. I'm out of the gun lending business. So that's the legend of Gordon Freeman. They think he fought out with just a, just a crowbar. Or. <laughs> Making me crawl. Uh, I'm okay. We're good. I know where that goes. Oh, I actually ran out. More friends for my friend pile. Yes. <laughs> this is the silly shit. I don't know what's going on with subtitles. They fix themselves for a bit and then they unfix themselves. I was gonna load my save to try to fix the fact that they were broken, but then but then they fixed themselves. But now they're broken again, so I don't know. That looks like the way to go forward. So I, is this optional? Ah, that's not what I wanted. Bam! Things you can get. Oh, it's an upgrade station. Yeah, it's pretty optional. But wanted. I value you, upgrade station. Although, I'm running out of things to do with you. Ugh, he's all full of tubes. Yeah, these guys are suffering at the, com at the uh, combine, too. Not that we're going to be friends if I deal with them. Wait, my fucking face mask is gone again. There it is. When did I lose it? Like, when? How did I? When? <laughs> this thing drives me crazy. It just tries to escape my face. Can I put these on. <laughs> like it knows where my feet are, right? That's a lot. That is a lot. They give you a hint, because each of these ring, there's a ring around each one, and you go through the ring. The ring's basically perpendicular to the direction that you're coming from. Because if you try to get, force it onto other ones, they don't always even, like this one. I'm going through this one, but it doesn't even work. You're actually limited on your choices a bit. Although this one's rotating. Oh, some of them rotate, other ones don't. So whichever one comes from here must be the one that goes through here. Wait, what? This one rotates. But only for a specific one. Okay, so yeah, even so even more than I was saying before, like each of these things is only designed to be used with a certain one of these. 
Which means there's probably only one solution for each puzzle. Basically. Which is kind of maybe a little disappointing, but I'm not really here for these to begin with. In fact, the, uh... I've said before, the minigames are probably one of the weakest parts of this game, and they're kind of just getting weaker the longer they keep going. Oh, are you... Oh! I've never had to do this before. I thought my goal was just to get all of these, which I think is all is the part of the truth. But I think I'm also supposed to get one of these late... Yeah. All the beams have to go through a galaxy. So you have to hit every galaxy, but every beam has to also go through a galaxy. You can't have unused beams. I'm learning new things. It doesn't really add to the puzzle, but <laughs> that's an additional thing about the puzzle. Okay, so I'm pretty done with this guy. I'll finish upgrading it if I completely have too many. That's the autoloader. The only reason I want to upgrade this is just so Russell's like, Wow, look, look how upgraded my baby is. Like, burst fire sounds counterproductive in many cases. Like when I fight, uh, if it multi, sh if it does a burst fire, can I turn it on and off? A toggle, okay. That is good. Because I was going to say, if it, it, uh, if it always burst fires, then I'll be disappointed. I wish there was a toggle for my laser sight. <laughs> so, auto litter. We'll see how this, we'll see how this works. Hopefully it doesn't somehow, hopefully it doesn't somehow make reloading harder, because reloading's already really easy in this weapon. To the point where I'm questioning if this is even worth doing. Oop. Looking very deadly. Ah. So it's just like the other ones. So seven go and gun, six go on side. Specifically six go and gun, one goes in the chamber, and f six go on the side. So this can hold extra bullets just like the other ones do, and it just automatically loads them. So it does make it easier to load because I just plop them onto the side of this thing and it figures it out on its own. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they, they frame them all differently, but it's basically the same thing as this. And this. They all mostly work the same way. This one a little... This one works the weirdest because each one is its own power cell. So you have to spend an entire power cell. Then it has to manually load the next one, which still leads to an interruption. Whereas this is, this works like just having two magazines. If it's completely empty, the fr it's a clip. Mm, I guess... Mm. Don't care. <laughs> but when you, put the, when you put the magazine in, it completely empties the magazine into the gun, and then you can take the magazine out. And then put a new magazine in, and then the second magazine is also there. I don't know where the bullets are going. Oh, there they are. I don't know how the bullets are going from in there to over here. Uh, I'm not really clear on... It doesn't look like it even touches the gun. It looks like it's... Yeah... I don't think I don't think this thing that loads touches the gun. I don't know how this thing how this thing works. Magic sci-fi bullshit. Woo. Okay. I need three more resins to get the final gun upgrade, which might lead to more Russell dialogue. That's my entire priority there. Is he like, "Wow, my gun is so cool now." And I was like, "Yes, it is, Russell. Yes, it is your gun." I'm out of the gun out of the gun lending business. Business? Is that what it is, Russell? A business where you, uh, fishing for profits with me, Russell. I really love Russell's writing. He's pretty great. And, uh, <clears throat> and Alex, Alex is a good foil. Alex was never very interesting. She was always likable and very useful as a companion in Half-Life 2. But she was never especially interesting or complex necessarily. Definitely a character that you can like, they could definitely still leverage your emotions a lot. Like, oh no, Alex, is she in danger and stuff? Because you cared about her. But Russell's complicated in, a certain, in certain ways that other characters aren't necessarily. And it's not gender specifically, because Eli is incredibly boring. <laughs> Alex's dad is 
just the most boring character. <laughs> I guess it's not a big surprise that video game makers might have a particular oop, penchant for writing uh, not very kind of kind of like outcast nerds, essentially. It's like a weird jitter happening on my screen, kind of off-putting. I feel like these are probably the kind of minor iffy things that probably cause motion sickness in people that have that. Which so far I have been spared from and that's good for everyone's sake because I already kind of procrastinate on playing this game partly because VR is a bit of extra work. Oh boy. Wow, really good job. VR is a bit of extra work, which makes me procrastinate a bit, and then it's a horror game, which also makes me procrastinate. <laughs> It'd be a lot harder to keep up with my schedule if I also had motion sickness. You can I had to take breaks constantly, or could only get like three episodes done per day in max, and then that was my VR cap. I'm very happy to, to know that's not a problem. I have adjusted the tightness on the helm, so it's not like uncomfortable anymore, because that was getting uncomfortable after it's, it's like my face was starting to hurt after like 40 minutes, I think. And I just thought, oh, maybe that's just what it's like. It's a, This thing's kind of heavy and it's on my face. That's what VR is, right? But now you loosen it a bit and it makes it a little wobbly when you shake your head, which makes things slightly worse, maybe? But it means that it doesn't cause discomfort. But I guess it's a thing where it's like squeezing on like the blood vessels on your head. And that's actually like bad, <laughs> obviously. But I've had some recording sessions lately that are like an hour and 40 minutes long, and I, and I don't know that until after I stop it. I know it's not half an hour, I know it's longer, but I'm a little surprised when I realize how long I've been going sometimes. I have to set alarms if I ever want to be able to like... Hey, it's those cool bug ships. They look really rigid. Eh. Yeah, if I have a schedule to keep for any reason, I have to like set real life alarms. Let's see. I don't like how rigid they look though. Part of what's so weirdly appealing about those weird bug ships is that they're like, their chunks move around. Those ones didn't really do that. This is 1000% a combat arena, so let's go hide this. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Okay. Hey, buddy. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope. Ah, okay, we're good. Okay. Oh, it's coming to me. Oh, well, he can't shoot quite this far. That's good. Where's that guy? Uh... Okay, I need to get out of here. Hi! How did that not explode? Ow. Oh, fuck. Okay, they, so so the barrels do take like two shots to blow up sometimes, don't they? Ah! Where is he? Useful grenades, or explosives. Oh, hi. Uh, stop having all your legs. That's really convenient to me when you don't have all your legs. Could be better. Okay. Ah. Ah. Hi. Ow. Okay, could be going better.
No, not that. Oh god. Okay. Whew. Ow, where are they getting me from? I'm in trouble. Oof. Three left. Where's my life? My inflatables are gone. Am I inflatables? Blow up. Thank you. My, uh, my injectables. Where'd they... Where'd they all go off to? Uh-oh. Okay. Do I want to go in? Oh god. Oh god. Ah. Uh, I... Alex? Alex, you still there? Uh, that was frustrating. Okay. That was frustrating. A lot of things were going wrong there. I couldn't load my gun. Like the auto loader was sticking out, which means you can jam them in there. It clearly had two more slots left and it just wouldn't go in. And I also couldn't close it. So it was like, I couldn't like, it was staying open. Maybe it's a bug that happens if you switch weapons while it's out. But I think I might've opened it then switched weapons. There are injectables in here. Yeah, I don't know where they all went. I think when I was walking across the, uh... I needed, I needed healing and I couldn't get any of it. When I walked across the thing, I think that got me in trouble. Just skip forward. Okay, there we go. The fuck away from here, though. Ah, this is harder than it needs to be. Okay. No! God damn it. You. Uh, that didn't work. Look! There's a lot. Three left. This is not this should not be this hard. Get in there. Got him. God damn it, I could I couldn't have the barrels behind him in time. Oh god. Finally, that guy's dead. Okay. Okay, nope, we'll, we'll deal with this this way. Uh, I can't see it at that angle. Damn it. I killed myself. Alex? Uh, Alex. Hard to judge distances sometimes. Okay. I need to kill... Both of the gunmen as fast as possible because they make it so I have to take cover constantly. When I already have to deal with this like runt, this mob that's chasing me that can only be killed by specific precise shots in a specific order, or a precise shot on a explosive that can be hard to hard to pull off. Part of what's hard about it is that the explosive can be covered by so many pieces of terrain, including the enemy that you're trying to run from. In some of these cases. Where is he? There he is. Oop. 
got him. Ah! Legs. Stop having legs. There you go. Hey, buddy. Oh, God. Where's Dickhead? There he is. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I can be so accurate sometimes, man. And then I'm just gone. It's just gone. Let's get this guy before he surprises me again. Hey, dick. He's dead? He's dead. Fuck that guy. Okay. This should be the easy part now. Only done one heart. Fuck you. Explode, please. Clear line of sight here so they can't sneak up on me. Fucking pick it up, please. Okay. over, but I'm giving myself a checkpoint anyway. There we go. Oh, that made him fly towards me. One I'm really struggling with that, that gesture all of a sudden. Are you done? Ooh. Last one. <sighs> Subtitles work hey, again. <laughs> you wanna swap in here? Yeah, no. I would probably die instantly. Yeah. I died twice. So. <laughs> and Vincent's safe. I'm finding good spots for you lately. Bye bye. There is so big. But yeah, I uh it's a really it's it's a pretty fun arena to be fighting in. My frustrations my frustrations are definitely coming from motion controls woes. I'm just like work, 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 please work, please work. Are you a bullet that I dropped? I think I thought this was emptier than it was. So it has like one bullet left. That I can load into my gun. But I can't store the whole thing. So I could put it in my... I could put it in Vincent. I want to keep the bullet. 
Might be a little too much effort for a bullet, but thing to keep in mind. God, thank God there were no barnacles hanging through this area. That would have been cruel. Like running for your life and then that shit starts happening. Even more, holy crap. I didn't I didn't want to go in here because it was gonna trap me. There's no lack of ammo around here. My favorite. Did, don't think I used any. Probably would have helped. Maybe this would have hurt. The grenade would have helped in some situations. Yeah, I could have healed it here instead of wasting one. Whoops. Did even more? Holy crap. I'm pretty sure I've refilled all the ammo I spent. Well, I used more combine ammo than human. I think they give me more human ammo than combine. Not looking in there. Not looking in toilets anymore. Just that I don't need that stress in my life of opening a toilet and hoping nothing comes out. Especially since we have had head crabs come out of toilets in this game. Even though it's not that one. It happened at least once, which is too many times. That is, officially, too many times. Too many times. Ugh. Might be a little jarring, but I feel like you guys won't for I feel like you guys will forgive me for using this to get around a little quicker whenever when an area is this big. Because this area is really big. And I don't I don't know what button I could oops, not that one. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing any sort of run button. I think that's just that's the closest thing you get. Ah. Press the wrong button, then you die instantly. Congratulations. Why do you blink at me? Am I supposed to get all three to be blue at the same time? Is that even possible? This one doesn't go anywhere. Um, I don't know if I understood that puzzle. I feel like they were mutually exclusive, right? I couldn't have them all linked up at once. I don't think. And yet, somehow it opened. Maybe it was the order in which you do them? Like, just bottom to top? So I did, like, kind of on accident by the end. Don't love these right now. No! All right. Well, they brought them through. They didn't do the point of no, they they did they, they cheated this time. There was no point of no return drop. It was just a loading screen where that door is implied to close behind me. Well, Vincent, no.